Hey, welcome to yet another exciting update of the Plastic Scanner project. For everybody new here, the Plastic Scanner project is a project where we try to make plastic identification as simple as possible. And we're doing this all in an open source way, because then it's accessible to you, you can chip in with your skills, and we, yeah, we grow the project and we grow the general knowledge of the commons. So that is why we're doing this all open source. Um, in the previous update video, you could see us making the new development boards. By now we have done most of the tests and yeah, it's been successful. So that's good. It seems to be slightly less good, less accurate as the ADS chip from Texas Instruments. Uh, but that one is not available anymore. So this is what we have to deal with. And since it's now able to be replicated, we can actually improve it over time and get more code in and do a bit more fine tuning because yeah, it's simple to, to replicate it. Um, we also moved or test different development boards or like the, the microcontrollers. And basically what that also allows is to only use the sensor part. So the next iteration is gonna have a dedicated sensor part and then an optional, um, yeah, basically microcontroller side. So there is gonna be more of the development boards. The second update is that Quina is wrapping up her work. So she did her thesis full into the infrared LEDs, the in-gas detector. And basically one of the most important things that she found is that the 720 nanometer LED and the 650 nanometer LED, they overlap a lot in the spectrum and also the in-gas detector uh, drops sensitivity quite a bit there. So that would also mean that probably we can use either one of them and not both. And that would already reduce the cost price of the plastic scanner with around 10%. So that's a really nice find. She found a lot more details, um, but basically she will share everything in her thesis, which is gonna be published next week on the plastic scanner website. And that makes it possible to really read into the details, to go super nerdy and to show that all of the optimizations or the findings that she did uh, and then explained in a, in a proper way and not in a, in a short update video. So make sure to check that out as well. The third update is that Dylan did a little system study on the analog front end. Um, basically, we have a little bit of circuitry that amplifies the signal from the detector. We just basically copy paste this from other open source projects or from the recommendations from, for example, Texas Instruments. But we never really knew if it was properly suited for our application. He did a check and he seemed it's, he said it seems very, um, very sturdy. Uh, there is a little bit of optimization to do but for prototyping, this should be more than sufficient. So we're happy that this is now tested. And yeah, all of these little researches brings me to sort of the, the fourth little update. And that is that we now have like a research page on the documentation website. And that basically combines all of the different researches that people did on the plastic scanner starting from the thesis from Armin all the way to the work that, for example, DataWarm is now doing on the data analysis. So you can check the documentation website, find the research page, and there you see all of the details that people find uh, and studied on the plastic scanner. Make sure to realize that this is not all the people that worked on the plastic scanner. These are only the the paper outputs sort of of the plastic scanner. There's also people working on software, firmware, PCB development. So the group is much bigger, uh, but also this really tangible research needs to have a place. And this brings me to the last point of the update video. And that is that for the next coming months, I will take a little break and regain some energy, have a little bit of a chill time because over the last 18 months, I've been working full on on this project and it's also time to, to relax a bit and to regain some of the enthusiasm. So 
basically what you can see now is that already the community is sort of taking over. They will be working on the development board, on the plastic scanner. So yeah, you can really see how this is, how this is growing. Uh, so be rest assured that developments will happen in the couple of months. Uh, the only thing is that there will not be a small little update video every month because yeah, I'm on holiday. But it does mean that in September, we're going to have new update videos coming every month uh, with new energy, with new enthusiasm and probably with a lot of updates. So I'm very much looking forward to that. In the meantime, there's also going to be a small HackMD, no, Hackaday video that's going to be released. And I would like to thank you for chipping in and joining in now on the video for all of the previous times that you watched and also hope to see you back in September. Enjoy the summer. I'm definitely going to do that and see you around. Bye.